<laughs> hey guys. So it's a good evening for most of you. <sighs> okay, a few of you wanted me to do the pocket watch yesterday. But um, I couldn't find a way to sort of render the concept. Oh, here we go. I forgot, I forgot to, to unmute. unmute. <laughs> Done. Done. You should, you should hear, hear me. me now. No. no. Mute that one. <gasps> there we go. Is the sound okay now? Because I think that probably would have sounded very weird <laughs> can I get an okay for the sound check please Good, good. Okay, great. Thank you very much. So I'll keep babbling on now. So with the um, the pocket watch, you guys wanted me to put, put the pocket watch in because like one of the things I have in all my videos is I have the um, pocket watch on display right next to what I'm doing. And then you guys get to see the hands of the watch just go crazy when I time lapse a video. But I couldn't find a nice concept or design in which to add the pocket watch the way I would have liked it. So I found a sort of different way of doing it where the background theme is sort of like a pocket watch and it indicates a sense of time. And I love the design and the colors. So that is sort of what I came up with and that's just the way it's gonna, gonna be. So the pocket watch will be right here next to it. <laughs> but not in the actual drawing. A bit softer. Great, I'm glad you guys like the concept. So, today is the last day. This is it. Then we have finished all the November drawings. So, I cannot believe that this is the 24th drawing. This will definitely be the most drawings that I have completed in just a couple of weeks. So it's been an, a great, great challenge for myself. I've learned a lot. I feel like I've accomplished a lot and I feel like I've, 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 I've grown a little bit. So it's definitely um, worth giving yourself the challenge. And if it wasn't for the fact that I had to live stream these videos, I can tell you I probably would have failed this in within the first week. So if it's it's sort of good to um, have other people rely on you or, or think that you're going to be doing something because then you feel like you're being held accountable so you will go the extra mile to make sure that um, your word is reliable and that's important to me. I don't I don't want people to think oh yeah she says she's gonna do that but I, she probably won't do it. I don't want people to ever think of me like that. If I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. So this month, I'm very proud that I managed to see it all through. The only difference is that we short one drawing. So instead of 25 drawings, it's only going to be 24 drawings. But at least that still fills up two calendars, which is great. And um, I just, I cannot do that extra day because now that we're in December, I have to think of my students and start working on the projects for my students um, in December. So yeah, but a lot of you on the live stream chat have sort of been here since the beginning or even halfway through and we all really got to know each other and it's been such a fantastic experience. It's been really, really great. But also that being said, I'm not going to vanish off the face of the earth. You're just not going to see me as often. I will try and do two or three live streams a month for everybody on YouTube. Well, everybody that follows me on YouTube. Um, and then the rest of the live streams will be for my students only. So I will not vanish. There will definitely be more uh, streams available for you guys. Just not every day. <laughs> okay. 
So I, I'm sure when Lundy wakes up, so the reason today's stream started this, this late is because Lundy, the one that submitted her image of the owl, I'll show you the original image that she submitted. So this was the photo that she um, took. She is an amazing photographer. She has some epic photographs, especially of birds. And um, that's the one that she submitted. And yeah, so she is in South Africa. She's in Cape Town, South Africa. And she, it will be around 10 past 5 a.m. in the morning for her. And if I had started the stream my usual time, it would have been like 1 a.m. or you know 2 a.m which is too early and then she's gonna miss it and she's missed out on so many already and i know she wants to be a part of it so i've definitely made a point of making it a little bit later and i could have said that in a much shorter sentence oh you're here okay lundy is online hey lundy so yes this is her owl photograph which i'm sure lundy you don't mind if i share it with everybody um and then they can download it and use it as a reference as well. Uh, if if you don't want them to do that, by all means, that's fine. I won't, I won't give it to everybody. But I'm pretty sure Lundy won't mind. She let us use her butterflies before, so yeah. And then I just changed it up. Wait, is this the right owl image? No. I picked the, okay she sent me two owl pictures this is the other owl picture <laughs> but um the one that you can see in the concept so the owl is just looking a little bit in another direction not straight at me so i just noticed i, I picked the wrong image <laughs> on the uh, original photo but anyways you guys get the idea Oh, thank you, Valerie. Oh, Valerie, you shouldn't be doing that. Because you you need it more than I do. <laughs> please, guys, if you cannot afford to do that, then please don't do that. It's very, very generous, Valerie. And you know what? I'm just going to super chat you back in your next live stream, and then we're even. <laughs> but thanks. I do appreciate that. So um, that also reminds me... Um, I I will be posting everything next week so all the calendars and everything all of it's gonna go next week the the giveaways the calendars the postcards all that stuff are gonna go and um, yeah so if you want to order a calendar so it's any of these drawings that we have done in the last month so all the November drawings are going in the calendar uh, which you can find on my website at shaldinefineart.com and then those um yeah those are all going out next week so if you want them to be sent out soon then order them soon and there's still a couple available they are on pre-order but i think at the end of next week i'm gonna take them off so that's that's gonna be it <laughs> uh yes the photos on patreon definitely so that's all good. Thank you, Valerie. <laughs> um, okie dokie. So I did like start a little bit of um, getting the trans the outline transferred onto there. And I had some technical difficulties. Sorry, let me just stretch. My right shoulder ba blade feels like someone is pushing like pinching with two fingers <laughs> it's painful i feel like i want to stretch it out so that it unpinches if that makes sense but it doesn't work that way <laughs> um yes so i was in the process of transferring this so let's keep doing that and we can get straight into it the materials i'm using are listed in the description and they um so the way you pronounce this paper <laughs> is me taunts. Me taunts. As in T O N T S. Me taunts. Touch. Me taunts touch. Canson me taunts touch paper. <laughs> um, so it's a sanded surface. It doesn't feel like it's hard to describe. It's, it's a sanded surface, but it feels like a combination of 
being sanded and leather. So it almost feels like leather that may have been sanded, if that makes sense. That's what it feels like. But it doesn't feel anything like the Fisher 400 paper, which literally feels like sandpaper. So that's my description. I, I had, I think it was Marilyn asked me, um, is it sanded paper? And I'm like, I think so. I think it's sanded paper, but it's hard to describe. It is sanded paper, but it doesn't quite feel like sandpaper, not like the Fisher 400 paper does. And the Fisher 400 paper is amazing paper. I wish they made it in more colors than just that ugly yellow color. <laughs> Did we use it? I th yes. Do we use a Fisher 400? I think maybe we used it on Kate's or did we use this paper on, on Kate's drawing as well? Or Jackie's drawing of her daughter Kate? I don't know. I don't even know anymore. Too many supplies in so little a time. <laughs> Hey Barbara. Oh thank you, that is very kind of you. <laughs> Valerie says I have the shoulder pinch just on the other side. Yeah, it's frustrating, isn't it? Are you left handed, Valerie? I don't think so. From watching your videos I don't think so. Oh, Valerie, I think mine is from troll hunting or modeling <laughs> or, or modding all day. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey guys, George, Majin, Wicked, David. I think I just went over, oh no, over that for the second time, but it did not. Okay. Noe's mom is asking me, would I say that the Meton's touch is comparable to pastel matte? You know what? I can't say. I haven't used pastel matte before, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. But um, I know that the Meton's paper, not the touch, so the touch has a surface paper, as a, a sanded feel and texture, whereas the me Tons paper, not the me tons touch, the me tons paper, pastel paper is like pastel paper. Um, it's not a sanded paper. So there's a big difference between the two. If you guys check out Bokei's channel, so B-O-K-K-E-I, she, um, she uses this paper a lot. And it's actually because of her that I purchased this paper to begin with. So she, she does great, amazing portraits and that on this paper. And um, other sanded paper surfaces as well.
<laughs> uh, Gareth, you know what? I had the green screen this whole time and I never even thought to use it. I never even thought to use it. Not in the live streams anyway. <laughs> And yes, the fan is not so noisy because I have, I moved the microphone to the other side, so it helps. So when you're doing like these parts with the very, the real fluffy feathers, the very and real, I want to say very, <laughs> the real fluffy feathers, you just need to make sure you're getting the direction right. So you can see it's sort of going in a, like a wavy sort of W shape, maybe. So as long as you get the shape, the direction right, then you'll be fine to do the individual feathers on your own you don't have to be too precise Yeah, I used this paper on the cat that I did, Lisa the cat. I used it on... On um, the... What was his name? Uzi the King Shepherd. And then this is the third time I'm using this. I think I used a watercolor paper because I used markers on Alfie and I wouldn't I don't think I would use markers on the sanded paper yeah Alfie Alfie I think was the Fabriano paper the Fabriano watercolor paper Oh, no, no, Alfie as in, oh, far out, Alfie as in the dog, not Jamie the elf. I'm getting confused between the two of them. Alfie the dog. Did I also use this paper on Alfie? I can't remember. <laughs> I may have used it for Alfie. Yeah, yeah, I think I did. Because we were like, we were experimenting to see if the, um, yeah, oh yes, we used the Meat Hunts 
pastel paper. Not the not the sanded paper. Sorry, I'm thinking if we use this paper. We just use the Canton Meton sanded uh, pastel paper. Pastel paper for Alfie the um, King Charles Cavalier. Yes. Far out. Yes, that was a good paper, but I can't compare it to pastel mat because I haven't used pastel mat before. See, my brain, my brain's gone. This is it. I'm done. <laughs> my brain is, is finished. <laughs> Hello, pretty. tell you guys about a couple of the struggles I've had this month because um, I'm sure you guys might be interested in that so when if you're gonna do a drawing a day one thing I definitely struggled with is ideas like I, I, I struggled a lot with how what I'm gonna come up with or what sort of concept designs I'm gonna do so I would spend a lot of time which was a bit frustrating for me because when I finish a drawing, um, even though I'm streaming for like five or six hours, after that I'm spending about two hours editing and fixing everything. And then I am spending um, about an additional hour to sometimes three hours. I spend three hours on Jammy the, um, the Elf, a little fantasy art drawing that I did. And so that, that takes a lot of time and then that becomes pretty frustrating because the last thing you want to do after drawing for so long is have to go and edit an image and do something creative out of it. I didn't have to do that for every single image. I know some of them were fine just as they were and I used them just as they were. Um, but yeah, for the ones that I sort of redesigned, it's time consuming because even though you see the final result like this owl, um, you don't see that I experiment with so many other pictures as well and try and like put them together and edit them and then try and figure out if this is going to look any good or if I like it and if I don't then I go and look for something else and yeah it takes, it takes a lot of time. So those are the probably the, the biggest struggle I had this month was coming up with the ideas in with such short notice and then um, putting them together so that that was that was hard but that that was the hardest part of all of it otherwise the rest was not so bad at all and then sometimes just getting up in the morning <laughs> would be hard too Uh, Amal's asking, how sharp is the etching tool that I'm using? It is very sharp. It's like that sharp. <laughs> it's sharper than a toothpick. <laughs> Gareth says, welcome to streaming for a living. So do you do this generally all day? David says, I bought a pad of the Me Tons past the paper on Wednesday because of you. Ooh, well, you got to show us what you do with it. <laughs> uh, David, I watched your video on YouTube about your Christmas gift ideas for artists. And I think you did very well for under $50. Very, very well. But yeah, I think the easiest thing to buy for an artist 
is a gift voucher at an art store. If you really don't know what they have or don't have. <laughs> Wicked says, uh, not much, no, not much need for pastel matte when you've got the Mitons touch. I think pastel matte is smoother though, but it can take as many layers. Okay, cool. So Wicked has used the paper before. Um. Louise mom says I'll be getting the Mitons touch. Yeah, this paper's great. It's really good. It's it's expensive though. What I did is I bought a bunch of big sheets and then I just cut them smaller. It was just cheaper to buy the bigger sheets than the pads. Noe's mom says, doesn't that indent the paper? Um, no, I'm not pressing very hard at all. If I had to press harder, it would. And if it was a watercolor paper, then it would indent the paper. But sometimes I use this tool to indent on purpose. So I have a, in my beginner's course, I go all through texturing, fine detail texturing using an etching tool. So um, the, you can do it on purpose. So if you don't want it to etch in your paper, then um, make sure that you don't press too hard. But with this, I don't have to press very hard at all. So no, I'm not indenting the paper. So it, it would work just the same if I used a graphite like mechanical pencil, it will work the same. This just has you're not putting any lines on your um, reference this way. Hi Janine, hey Kim. So I'm just going to put like a, a subtle indication of these cool highlights of, I should call this the timekeeping owl. <laughs> and then I'll do the final giveaway after this outline. So the final giveaway is a $25 voucher at an art store closest to you. Um, well, not closest, but an art store where I can get a gift voucher for you guys. So if you're in the US, it'll probably be, um, I don't know, Dick Blick or I don't know, Jerry's, Jerry's maybe. And those in the UK, I'm not sure what's the best art supplier to get a gift voucher for in the UK and then those in Australia will get a Riots or an Eckersley's voucher so it depends on who gets it and where they're located and then you'll get it online via email so you won't get it in the post so you would get it straight away compared to everyone else that has to wait for theirs in the post <laughs> <laughs> Robert <laughs> Gary says just to Amazon yeah we'll see who wins
Valerie says go with Blick. Jackson's. Is Jackson's any good? Hobby Lobby. Yeah, Luella says Amazon would be good for the USO folk. I have this paper on my wish list right now. I'm waiting to see what you do with it. I've done a couple with this paper. So this is the fourth one. Including the King Charles Cavalier. <laughs> No, no, I'm lying. This is the third one with a touch. The Meton's touch. <sighs> yep. Gooey brain. Curry's? Is Curry's an art store? <laughs> Okay, a lot of a lot of you seem to think Amazon's a good one. Hey Isme. <laughs> yeah, curry sounds like food. <laughs> Okay, that should do. I have coffee and I've forgotten all about it. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, poor Landy, you have it the worst of all of us because Landy's in South Africa and it's it's so hard, like it's very risky posting to South Africa because nine out of ten times they don't even get it. So the postal service there is as corrupt as anything. <laughs> it's really bad. Um, they go through your stuff and if they decide they like it, they keep it. So it's, it's such a scary place to post to because you're not guaranteed to get anything. So that's why people don't want to post to South Africa or that's why people don't want to buy things that have international posts. So um, poor Lundy. And then the stuff that you do manage to get there that are imported just are ridiculously overpriced. It's crazy. Oh, thank you, Gareth. <laughs> that is so sweet. <laughs> no, I appreciate that very much. Let's do the giveaway. So we're doing a $25 voucher today. So let's go see who commented. Uh, camera to I'll start the camera later. Okay, so let's go pick the winner. I think Vinny's just woken up. Poor thing. He finished night shift this morning at 6 a.m. So it is 20 to 3 now in the afternoon. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Gary says, well, I have no Patreon this month, so I thought I'd still chip in. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, so the real-time video that we did yesterday. So we used the art graph graphite putty yesterday, which was which was fun. It was messy and fun. Oh, my watch. Thank you. Yes, we can't forget the watch. I'm gonna try and. Position it in the way so that the light doesn't, oops, doesn't reflect on it so you can't see the time. There we go. Okay, so you guys had to comment 23 for 25, even though we're only doing 24. And there's 34 comments. Now, before I read them. Oh, uh, yeah, Landy says, I blame it on customs. A set of 12 polys is around 500 rand. Unfortunately, due to other commitments, I had to skip on getting the Prismas from Amazon. Yeah, I know. Everything's ridiculously overpriced there in South Africa. I do understand. <laughs> Esme says, I'm going to dream with camera checks off." I'm going to dream of camera checks after today since I won't see you again. <laughs> like I have this month. <laughs> oh dear. Everyone's going to remember, remember you for that, Esme. <laughs> oh, Wicked says, wow, it's worse than my South African fellow DA artist said. Luckily, our art gifts exchange went well. <laughs> That's good. I sent an original to South Africa about two years ago. And it took me a long time. I think it took me almost 40 hours to draw it. And after four months, they got it. And I, after two months, I was like, oh, it's gone. It's not going to happen. You're not going to get it. But after four months, you got it. It's so weird. 
but the tracking so i could track it from south uh, from australia until it reached south africa and then i couldn't track it anymore once it reached south africa but it took less than two weeks to reach south africa but it took three and a half months while it was in south africa before he eventually got it so yeah it's a bit it's a bit crazy right okay so now i am on the comment section of yesterday's live stream so number one is kayla number two is nanette she's feeling lucky today <laughs> number three is esme number four mary ellen number five is kim number six is noel number seven is david number eight is mary Number 9 is C.S. Kreitz. Number 10 is Rob. Number 11 is Janet. Number 12 is Peggy. Number 13 is Luke. Lundy is 14. Hey, Luke! Oh, he's not on here now. 13 is his lucky number and he finally got to be the 13th one to comment. <laughs> so, Landy's 14, Amy 15, Aaron 16, Marianne 17, Patty 18, Clarice 19, Jada 20, Barb Palmer uh, 21, Susanna Fine Art 22, Jody 23, Amal... Nope. Noe's mum, 24. Mm. Okay, let me just check. Yeah, so Noe's mum, 24. Twenty-four, twenty-four. So that's the maximum. Let's set it up. Uh, so we have the the app over here. So we set a minimum to one and a maximum to twenty-four. Save and let's pick the number. Number one. Ugh. The net's so close. So close. You were number two! <laughs> oh dear. So Kayla, congratulations. You won the $25 voucher. looking at the real the right video yes I am so the real-time video of the art graph graphite putty wait I only said 24 didn't I yep that's it I don't see you guys on there you sure you commented on the right one Are you sure you guys commented on the right one? When did you comment? If you only commented now, maybe... Because I've had the video up for a little bit. So if I refresh it, let's see what happens. <laughs> so I'm refreshing. Yep. Oh well. Either way.
way it would have been number one and that number one would have been the same person regardless. Yeah, I don't see you on there. I'm not sure what happened. Okay, maybe you guys are getting confused. Because for the... Yesterday's was 23 for 25. The day before was 22 for 25. So I have had two of those um, same giveaways running. So maybe you're thinking of the previous one. <laughs> yeah, I don't see it, I promise you. I will include you if I could see it. <laughs> In your own, if you commented on something, your comment will always show up as number one. Your comment will always show up as number one on your YouTube screen. So the first one to comment with mine, or the last one to comment on mine, comes up as number one, which was Kayla. Valerie's like, yep, I got confused. My bad. <laughs> Marjean as well. Sorry, guys. Next time I won't use such a similar giveaway word. <laughs> okay, let's carry on. So it's getting... Gonna get late. So I don't know how long this is gonna take. But I'm gonna stream until it is... 5 p.m. on my clock so I'll stream for two hours unless we magically finish this before the time but stream for two hours and then the rest I'll do as a part two unlisted video um, if I still need to go any longer and then I'll do that after a break okay Valerie can see Kayla as number one Yes, if, if you commented on that one, then you would see yourself as number one and her as number two, but you didn't, so that's why you see her as number one. Okay, cool, you all have it, you all have it. <laughs> okay. Cool, yes. So today I am using my, my wonderful Polychromos pencils. I should, um, where are my, and then I have my very lovely pencil extenders ready to go for my short polychromos pencils where is the other one and i have a couple of short prisma color pencils too so i will be oh i have blueberries blueberries I'm gonna start off with the eyes, which are really dark. So black. Shopping. Oh no, I forgot I have a piece of lead stuck in there. I 
have a nasty habit of really letting this get pretty full before I empty it. How do I get that out? Should be good now. That was a real stubborn piece of pencil that got stuck in there. Usually if your pencil breaks in the sharpener, you just keep pushing it with another pencil and it will go through. Whereas that one was just not, not going through. Okay, here we go. Gosh, it's been an hour and we've done nothing. Let's try again. This is too short. Don't tell me I have... to manually sharpen because I can't fix that now. <laughs> Don't worry, I turned the transformer off. <laughs> Thank you, Jackie. <laughs> David said, you should use sorry. You didn't win anything, David, as a giveaway phrase next time. Sharpener needs a break too. <laughs> okay, so I've got the black. Let's zoom in here. And do this eye. I really love how this these pencils feel on this paper. Paper is just so nice. And you don't like, you'll notice that I said maybe in brackets next to zested under the materials list in the description. Because with this paper, you don't really need to blend because because it's a sanded paper, your, your pencils are almost, I don't know how to, say they they're blending anyways or well, the pencil is pigmented enough and applies like smoothly enough for you to not have to worry about the texture of the paper or the need to blend hopefully that makes any sense okay I want to use some indigo blue Oh, camera check, thank you. What's a bad word? Did I say a bad word? <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks, Landy. Yep. Should I have my Prisma Color Indigo Blue? Okay, I'm going to encourage all of you guys to refresh this because I don't know if your lag has just gone way back, but refresh your stream. I'll refresh mine too. Just for interest's sake, I want to see what the zested solvent does on this paper. Okay, that works fine. Let's see what happens when it dries. So you don't really notice the texture of the paper when you're using the polychromos pencils but when you're using the wax pencils you do notice the texture of the paper. So you would want to use the, the solvent to blend in the wax base pencils. So that, that actually works really great. works fine with liquids by the looks of it. Emily 
is saying, Hey Shalene, it seems that the colors are amazingly applying on the paper. Soft pressure? Yes, I always use soft pressure. Maureen says, every once in a while I do notice the chat starts to disappear. Yeah, so um, I encourage you guys, like maybe after every 15 minutes, maybe refresh. And then, because it seems like the longer you are on the stream, the further I end up being back in time. So the further you are from real time, then I seem to get like a minute, two, maybe even three whole minutes ahead of you guys. And then when you comment on something that said three minutes ago, it's like history. <laughs> okay, so Valerie says the Meton's touch can take liquid, but not the Sennelier sanded paper. Okay. I've yet to try that paper as well. Um, okay, let's continue with this where I can see it's needed. I'm so disappointed that my sharpener isn't working right now. Hopefully I didn't break it by sticking the bloody etching needle in there to push the broken core out. That'd be very disappointing. I use the paper this paper the more I'm just gonna keep using it it's amazing maybe I'm gonna be gone with the watercolor papers Jana's asking, have you ever heard of Legion paper? Are they the ones that make the Yupo paper? No, I haven't. Uh, Marilyn's asking if the Fisher 400 paper can stand the liquids. <sighs> I, I don't think so. I don't know. It's very sanded. I think that it feels like you like the sanded surface sort of brushes off the more you color on it so i don't i don't see how to work with liquids but i i don't think i've tried oh cool joanna thank you i have a lot of yupo paper <laughs> But that's handy for anybody who's looking to get some Yupo paper. Joanne says, Joanna says, on the website, either a watercolor paper pack or drawing paper packs for $15. Oh, so not just the Yupo paper from all the best companies. Oh. Did you share that on the Facebook page? Kiyomi says, yeah, the Fisher 400 paper can stand liquids. They are built for it. Okay. Cool. Well, there you have it. I haven't tried it myself. But next time I use it, I'll be sure to try it.
somebody on, I got your message. That's great. Robert says, take chances on something you have never done and the results are breathless, of breathtaking endeavors. I totally agree. And I totally advise everyone to do that. Try something you never tried and just go for it. So Jana says, no, it's not you, Bo. Okay, cool. It's all the best brands like Fabriano, etc. Oh. Yeah, Kiyomi says, the touch isn't as good as fish or pastel mats. Um... It's not good for pastels, but for colored pencils, pastel made and fisher are better for both. Yeah. I love colored pencils on the touch paper. It's great. And I love it on the Fisher 400 paper. I haven't tried the pastel mat. So, but I, I love this touch paper. The Canton touch paper is crazy amazing. And they have such nice colors too. We used a couple of different colors this month. So Valerie shared the link, thank you. Ah, I'm not scrolling down, far out. I was like, whoa, these messages are from ages ago. Can I check all good, thank you, Esme. Robert says, I wish I could stay up and watch, but I have a long day tomorrow. Take care, everyone, and good night. Good night, Robert. Thank you so much for joining us. You're probably gone already, but good night. <laughs> Yes, Esme, you totally should. 
But I have been posting more posts to Instagram than I have Facebook. But when it comes to notifying everyone about things that are happening, I don't put notifications like that on Instagram. So I guess that's why you don't see them. Look, my blueberries actually match my my drawing. <laughs> I can see them in my DSLR camera. <laughs> um, Maureen will put up a link for you guys to the Facebook group that we have. It's called Sheldine Art Hordes. And that's where we talk all about art supplies. So if you guys are thinking about getting art supplies but you're not sure about it, you can ask the question there. Um, or if you have experience with art supplies, you can let us know what you think about them. Or if you found an art supply that you like, then you can tell us. And then it's also a space where you guys can share your art social media with us, whether it's Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram. But um, it's not a space for you to share your artwork, so don't share your artwork there. We only talk about art supplies and share um, social media of artists. Jason just joined the group. The link doesn't seem to be working. Okay, I think YouTube likes to cut the link short sometime when I when I copy and paste the links. I'll get the new link. See if that one works better. Okay, watch. Now when we, we I'm just going to blend this blue in real quick and it should make the owl really pop out. Because it's going to be darker. To the bigger brush. So I'm dipping it in my zested solvent. Dabbing off any excess. <laughs> I'm 
Maureen says, none of the links are... Okay, I need to fix the links in the description. So that would be my fault. Yes, I'm just going to be two minutes. I'm just going to quickly say hello to Vinny and then I'll be right back. Okay? <laughs> okay, I'm back.
Valerie's saying, Shells, how do you pause the streams? I tried and it cut the live. Uh, I pause on my OBS because I stream through OBS and I just um, say stop streaming in OBS but I don't say stop streaming in YouTube and then when I press start streaming in OBS it will just go back again no no pan pastels today I'll just use the pencils it's a pretty small drawing so it's easy enough to get coverage of the pencils Okay, let's do this owl's head. The eyes don't look as black as I'd like them. But maybe when we pop those highlights in, let's do it now. Let's not do it last. bright orange beak that is gonna be fun <laughs> so I'm using polychromos cadmium orange That this color comes off on the paper. It's so nice. <laughs> and I'm going to use a bit of the dark cadmium orange. of the cream and Jackie's asking what's OBS OBS is yeah what David said the open broadcaster software which is just a little platform where you um, I don't know how to explain it you you plan what is gonna show up on the screen before it shows up on the screen I may have extended that beak very far compared to how far it really needs to be <laughs> that's fine we can make it a bit smaller <laughs> that beak is way too high uh, too pointy <laughs> there we go that's better and then where is that that black all those little nostrils again thank you Kay that's very kind of you
I love how bright and orange that beak just pops out. So we need some pretty purples. Take some lilac, so that is pretty much the light color. I think it's even lighter than that. I have even lighter purple. Yep, yeah, maybe lavender. Probably not that purple, but uh, no. Let's use a gray. Use a gray instead. Yep. Jackie, yes. Um, before the month started, I had a hundred and twenty-three students on Patreon and now I think I have 144 so yeah that's a big improvement Yes, my subs also went up. So I'm not I can't I'm not quite sure about how many. I need to check. But um it was 12,200 subs I think when we started. And I'm nearing 13,000 now, which is <laughs> which is crazy good. And I've had my YouTube channel for 3 years now. So yeah, it's taken me three years to get these subs. zoom into that face for you guys <laughs> Lundy's asking if she'll find my calendars on my website yes they're on my website in the store and then this um, image will be in calendar number three. OK. 
Okay, let's get some of these nice red, really red purpley colors in. So, red violet. Yeah, thanks guys. Over 200 subs. I think I want an even darker purple than that. Where's my cherry one? This one. Dark purple. Is this the one I want? Yes. Is it lagging for you guys? What is going on with you? Let's fix the... Let's see if that's better. It's like a sort of haze over there. I want to see if I can make it a bit sharper. Let's go properties. Yeah, that's better. That just reduces that hue.
Oh, you want me to zoom out? <laughs> yeah, it's amazing how we can all be here. We all are different parts of the world, different time zones, some in the future, some in the past, but we're all communicating right now. <laughs> I know Peggy, it's a weird, such a weird sensation, a weird feeling to know that I was speaking to so many different people. We've got Landy from, we've got South Africa, we've got the UK, we've got US. And I'm sure you guys are going to tell me where else. you got to tell me which country you're in, not which state you're in. Because I wouldn't know. The only states I know are those in South Africa because I'm from South Africa and obviously Australia because I live in Australia. Clarice, don't worry. That is perfectly fine. Thank you. Your presence here is enough. <laughs> I love the intensity in the face. I'm surprised that there's so many of you guys from Europe still on here because it's crazy early morning hours by you guys and I don't know. No one sleeps. Do you guys not sleep? <laughs> okay, so now we can switch to a slightly lighter reddish purple color and this one maybe this one yes so this is kaput motor polychromos pencil See, what I might do is use that grey again. No, it needs to be a lighter grey. Just a bit lighter. So, 
warm grey number three, polychromos. Put these little patterns on here. So I wonder if my brother's on here. My brother Gutty. So I have three younger brothers and I'm the eldest and the only girl. Um, and my brother Gutty. So he's the middle brother out of the three. It's his 18th birthday today. And this is just unreal. He's grown up so quickly. <laughs> I posted this picture as a happy birthday picture. So look how cute he was. He was so adorable. And then this was this year. So he came to visit in July. And um, yeah, he turned 18 today. It's crazy. It's beyond me. <laughs> So I'll be calling him after the stream because they are six hours behind me. So I couldn't call them this morning because it'd be too early. <laughs> Happy birthday, Sheldon's brother. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, thank you guys. I'll be sure to let him know. <laughs> be interested what kind of owl is it and what were you doing when you shot this photo where was it was it close to where you live or did you go out there to hunt for a good photo Lundy says we were lucky to find a breeding pair. The owl is female. They were hard to find and we've been waiting patiently for them to breed this year. The male was watching me. He's a year older than me. Oh, wait, that's Clarice. <laughs> I just carried on reading what Lundy was saying. It's like, how do you know how old the owl is? <laughs> They're called wood owls. Incredibly secretive and not very easy to find. So this is a special photo to you then because it's not an easy find. Patterns in with the feathers. Wicked. 
Wicked says, most of your streams start around midnight for me, today 4am. So I spent this month's nights with you all. <laughs> wow. You must really enjoy these streams or you must really enjoy the people in the chat for you to do that. <laughs> Landy says, I always go out and hunt for photo opportunities. I've been, uh, I've been chasing this specific type of owl in Cape Town for nearly two years. Oh, wow. So it must have been really special find. Pocket watch. Okay, move it a bit higher. The pocket watch is in the perfect position for the other camera. It's just this one. The round things, I'll show you what this image looks like. So the reference, I'll show you a bigger example. So it's like little timekeeping pieces. So it's just like, yeah, little highlighted designs. <laughs> Thank you, Juhi. Is it Juhi or Jahi? Juhi, Jahi. I don't know. I try to pronounce everyone's names as best I can. So that's like this side's feathers. And then this side's feathers would do the same. As long as you know the direction of the feathers, the rest is easy. You just do that on top of each little line. Mom, thank you for joining us. <laughs> gears. No, they're not gears. They are little time things. Jackie says this would make a great phone case design. <laughs> yeah, it would. <laughs> Dana says, oh, I thought it was some sort of fancy nest. <laughs> Amal says, I'm a slow learner. I hope you teach us how to put the two photos together. Yep, in Patreon. Like, in Patreon, I will be showing you guys how I design my references um, and how, how I how I get to the point of having an image to look at um, all that will be done for my students on patreon so this is not a conventional month this month because I've been doing live stream every day for everybody not just my students on patreon but um, now this is the last day that I'm doing this and then it's back to focusing on my students so you guys will get all that stuff it's not gonna stay like this This was a once-off thing.
Jackie says, put it on Etsy as a phone case. <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> uh, good night, Janine. Thank you so much for joining us. Enjoy your sleep. Yes, I use Clip Studio to edit my photos. Um, not Photoshop. But I do also provide the original reference as well as the concept design after I'm done. So you guys will have both. If you guys would want to try it for yourselves. Now when we add all the red in between those feathers, it's going to look even better. It's going to look even more defined. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> yeah. So, for those that don't know, Patreon is a platform that I use to put all my tutorial content up for students. And then um, $5 subscribers get access to all the live stream tutorials. $8 subscribers get access to everything, including the student portal. And the student portal has my Udemy course, which is the beginner's course in there for you guys to use. And um, it also has the downloadable step-by-step -step PDF ebook tutorials available on there as well. And then you just pay $8 a month and you get access to all of that stuff. So I try and say that if you can sacrifice to buying a cup of coffee or two cups of coffee, then you can afford Patreon. But if you cannot, then you cannot. <laughs> I'll still be doing live streams, guys. I know. I guess some of I think one of you have said that you I've become a part of your routine <laughs> because I stream every day just for this month. So uh, <laughs> that was so funny. You guys have been a blast. I really had fun as well. <laughs> Jace is like, okay, don't drink coffee. <laughs> oh, thank you, Linda. <laughs>
<laughs> give up air <laughs> is that what it's like to give up coffee <laughs> Okay, some of those areas need a bit of a darker red, so we shall use red violet. That is hardly any darker, so let's use, try the magenta. Yes, a bit better. <laughs> no, okay, I am not asking you guys to give up coffee. I'm asking you guys to give up one a month. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> I can't even give up coffee. I say while I drink coffee. Camera check, thank you. Ah, oh, Esme, you're such a sweetheart. You've saved a lot of video content from being non existent. A lot of content exists because you say those words. <laughs> Oh, thank you for joining us, Juhi. <laughs> hey, Lundy, you're engaged, aren't you? Recently, sort of recently, it probably feels like a while now. Have you set a wedding date yet? Are you getting married in Cape Town? I should name my camera. Oh, I am totally doing that. My camera's name is Esme. My DSLR is Esme. <laughs> it's named. So Esme, when you're not around, people are going to ask me if Esme is working. <laughs> check Esme. Esme check.
Has Benjamin <gasps> Benjamin has fully grown and has been potted nicely in a pot next to all the other fully grown plants. I now have a new plant. So yes, Benjamin survived and has fully matured. <laughs> Let's see. I haven't watered the new plant yet. No, I think the new one is tulip. tulip and it's already sad look at that that's tulip <laughs> okay I'll have to I had two bottles no I had three bottles I have my fourth one in front of me oh it's still sad poor little tulip <laughs> Look at that face. Okay, I'll have to make sure I water it. is like we've seen Benjamin grow up from a seed <laughs> yes it wiggles when you touch it Darker purples in the tail area. So I think I want to use the indigo blue again or or no. what do you like on here? It's like the same color as the paper. Okay, indigo blue here. So we'll go into some of those darker spots. <laughs> yeah, Jackie's like, this group is a blast. It has, it's been crazy, it's been so nice.
<laughs> uh, Landy, I know what you mean. Life gets so busy, doesn't it? And for it, it feels like I saw the other day that you were engaged, but 18 months already. 18 months ago, it goes so fast. So fast. But I've said this before. I think time is going faster. Not your clock. The clock is not going faster, but time itself is going faster and everything with it, which makes it seem like it's not going faster. It's a difficult concept to explain, but everything is going faster. Even the clock's going faster, but you don't think so. I think that's what's happening. Everything's going faster. <laughs> Every year actually feels faster than the previous year. that time isn't actually going faster everyone says time goes faster as you get older but how do you know that it isn't actually going faster you don't yeah think about that one <laughs> I'm using, this is a Prisma color pencil. I'm using both my polys and my Prismas. And because of the super awesome deal, was it David? That David or Robert, I never know which one of you posts what, of the um, cheap Prismacolor sets. I got a whole set of 150 Prismacolor pencils for $60. That should be coming soon. You guys have gotten yours already. It didn't take long at all. Those that got it, of course. oil and wax blend perfectly together and also something 
Jason, which you're probably not aware of. Wax-based pencils, the core of wax-based pencils have oil in them as well. So oil-based pencils have oil and wax in them, but they have a, a higher consistency of oil which makes them harder and that's why they call them oil-based, but they still have wax in them. Wax-based pencils have oil and wax in them, but they have a higher consistency of the wax content, which makes them softer, which makes people refer to them as being wax-based. So they have the same contents in, just a higher consistency of either or. And that is also why they work perfectly together. And both of them blend with a um, odorless solvent. Uh, so there's no reason why they wouldn't work perfectly together. I feel like I want to put some of this amazing blue in the background. And then darken the in-between areas. There's purple in there. <laughs> Kiyomi says, take away your watch the man-made watch and then you have plenty of time <laughs> Now to give that more of a glowy effect, we can fill in the background with the blue.
Now if I blend that with the solvent, <laughs> Hello, Amanus. <laughs> My uncle Hannes just popped in to say hello. He says more. But more in Afrikaans means, or the, the letters M-O-R-E in Afrikaans means Mura, which means morning, which it is for him. So if you say good morning, then it's, you say it Huyamora. Hey Chris. <laughs> So the background is nice and dark and because it's so much lighter there it almost looks glowy. So now when we go over that again, it's going to look even better. So now we can define those. So it's almost like tiny little circles. <laughs> Jody says I love this reference will it be available to your patrons yes it is Landy says when will you be visiting South Africa I won't be. I don't really have any reason to go back. <laughs> mm. 
and David. You see how that, that sort of has the illusion of glowing? But it's not. <laughs> so now I'm using a very fine point to create those lines. small indication of some lines in there too. And then there's a nice a nice purple in there. Like this one. So there's a little bit of a purple in there so we can add that in too. So, oh, I'm only going to stream for another half an hour because I said I'll stream until 5 o'clock, which you guys can't see on there, but half an hour, and then um, I will do this as a separate real-time video, but it just won't be live, but it's, it's still, at least you still have the second part of this to watch in real-time, because I'll take a break. Maybe play a game or two of Magic the Gathering with Vinny, and then I'll come back and do this. David says I'll start live streaming in the future. Oh my gosh, you'll be so comical to watch. I would love to be a part of your live streams. He says I have all the necessary equipment, building a green screen uh, rig in a few weeks. Awesome. <laughs> Oh, th this background's gonna look so cool. Once I get all those really dark bits of the indigo blue in there, and then start working on the highlighted areas, it's gonna look so nice. So nice. <laughs> Aw, Jason only got to see two live streams and now they're done. Oh, there'll be more. Just make sure to set your notification bars on YouTube and then when I stream again, you'll get notified. The notification bell. Talking Taylor. Are you talking, okay?
Kim says I really want a YouTube channel. You get one, make one. Lundy, we had this conversation not that long ago. Um, we Vinny would have done that, yes, if his family wasn't so massive. So because he's got a big, a, a huge, and I mean huge Italian family, and they love the weddings and everything, it is a big do. It's a massive, massive event. There's no way we would get away with trying to do something small. And that is expensive. So that's what's holding us back. It's just too expensive. Plus, we're practically married. We just don't have the paperwork to say so. <laughs> so that's good enough for me. <laughs> but yeah, we've been together for six and a half years already. So I can see why you would suggest that. <laughs> <laughs> yep, no, eloping just would not go down well. Mm -mm. <laughs> Vinny? thought he was right here. <laughs> Landy's thinking of it. <laughs> Woo. Yes. Yeah, if you have a YouTube auto account, use that as your chat name. Jason said, my parents would kill me if I did that. <laughs> oh, it's raining and those are big raindrops. Okay, let's do this top section here. Make it look all glowy. Let's first blend those nice dark, dark blues in. Can you hear the rain? Andy says, I can fully understand with an Italian family. You guys would be in so much trouble. Yep. We'll never, ever live it down. Ever. Plus, I'm my dad's only daughter. He'd want to walk me down the aisle.
Marilyn says, I love the rain, but for us, we get snow. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you guys would be pretty cold now. When we start experiencing this extreme heat, then you guys start experiencing the extreme cold. So weird. I'd imagine that if you guys had to come to Australia for Christmas, it would be so strange for you because it's so hot. And for me, it would be so strange going to a place with snow during December time. It just, yeah. It'd be weird. <laughs> I can see I'm going to still spend a lot of time on this drawing. I'd say maybe another three or four hours to get it done, but I love it. I think it's going to look so good. Ho oh, ho ho. If it turns out as good as I want it to, then I think this this is going to be the cover for the calendar, Lundy. I think so. It's just such a cool piece. <laughs> it's a great finale. Valerie, that's cool. Congratulations. Oh, it's hot in Florida too, Peggy says. I wish I could teleport some rain to you, Landy. <laughs> wow, it is really pouring down. What? Clarice is the eldest of eight. And you're only 17 years old. And you're the eldest of eight. Far out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Valerie can hear the rain. Yeah, it's pouring. Oh, I forgot about the music. The rain does sound nice. So that's dark enough. I like how dark that is. So now we can start adding these cool highlighted bits. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> Clarice. <laughs> Adding some purple. Just because when you're doing like highlighted pieces like that, you don't want too much. Um, too much of the same color. So let's use white where there's the lightest highlight. And then that really makes a pop and then you add more blue and then you add those too much on so if you overdo it you can darken it up again <laughs> like that okay Uh, Lundy, tell Brian I say thank you. Yes, Jody, you should try this paper. It's very, very good. <laughs> okay, guys, I am going to... Oh, I said 10 more minutes. 10 more minutes, and then I'm going to go. Camera is about to. Thank you, Esme. Okay. Um, right, let's keep working on some of those.
Now, what colors I'm going to use for the wood? I'm going to use the same the same. I'm going to use the indigo blue and the grays and the light purples that are used in the owl. And then a tinge of these red tones in some of the areas. But yeah, they'll they'll still be grey and blue. You always want to use whatever colours you're using in your main subject. You also want to use in, you know, the background or in some areas in the foreground to just balance it out nicely. Ooh, this is a very nice bright blue here. Amanda says, keep on, well see you next time. Thank you for joining us, Amanas. Ta ta. I can hear thunder. Got some purple. Oh, those glow bits are going to look so cool. Okay, guys. I am going to bid you guys a goodbye. Um, this is the last drawing for all the drawings for November. It has been such fun. Thank you guys for being so amazing during the chat. And I will be sending away all the giveaway gifts and all the drawings and everything um, and the calendars next week. So if you want to order the calendar, um, be sure to do that soon. At the end of next week, those calendars are going off of my website. Um, all the ones that I've done in November anyways. Um... What else? Congratulations to, uh, was it Kyla that won the um, giveaway today? And um, to everybody that got selected for these drawings during the month. It's been so much fun. And yeah, 
So December, I have a lot planned for my students on Patreon, so be sure to head on over. Make sure you check the calendar and the schedule. And if you're part of the student portal, I update the student portal every single day. So make sure to check any announcements or anything coming up um, over there. I also have all the future live streams will be booked in for the whole month, way in advance, so you know what date and time it will be happening. And um, yeah, the Udemy course is there and the downloadable ebooks, everything is there on the student portal. Okay. And if you want to know how to get access to the student portal, you need to be an $8 patron or more, and then you will get access to the student portal. Unfortunately, you won't get immediate access to the student portal anymore because I have had some people take advantage of it and download everything and then cancel their subscription. So there is a waiting period before you get access to the student portal, but you will eventually. Okay, cool. So thank you guys. I will see you guys next time. Bye.